Yeah. Uh, hi guys. It's early, early in the morning. You, um, I think around two something a.m. Okay. So now let us learn uh, photosynthesis today. Uh, photosynthesis. Now, first of all, definition. Uh, guys, photosynthesis is something that you learn since primary school. Okay, you learned in science as well, form 1, form 3. So, can I ask you a very simple question? What is the definition? What is the definition of photosynthesis? Huh? If you are struggling in your mind to try to answer me, uh, it means all along you don't have a solid technique. Technique yang kuku untuk hafal uh, photosynthesis. If you ask me, uh, so I ask you back, what's the definition? For me, I don't scout around in my mind. Sebab saya sudah ada strategi untuk untuk hafal takrif bagi photosynthesis. I don't have to search so hard because for me, how I do this is one, two. Step one, what is photosynthesis? The synthesis of starch. Starch dalam BM kanji ya. Photo. Photo means light. So, using light energy. Using light energy. And ini langkah ketiga. So, light energy, guys, they are always absorbed by chlorophyll in the chloroplast. Okay? So, this is how you can memorize photosynthesis without breaking a sweat. Yeah? Synthesis of starch. Using light energy, first point, second point here, third point, absorbed by chlorophyll. Okay? Next, in order to learn photosynthesis, guys, we must first know the structure of chloroplast well first. Okay, so in this satu chloroplast, first of all, uh, we have learned this in my uh, in chapter 2, form 4, chapter 2, organelles. There are two organelles which have double membrane. And they love to ask these two a lot, which includes mitochondria and also chloroplast. So chloroplast, they have a double membrane, guys. They have a double membrane. The fluid of chloroplast is known as stroma. Please don't confuse this with stoma. Stoma adalah liang di bawah daun. Okay, the there's a pore be there are many pores below the leaf. That one is called stoma. Stoma controlled by gut cells. Stoma controlled by gut cells. Okay, stroma is the fluid bendalil dalam chloroplast, and this is called a granum. This is called a granum. Uh, in pre you you will learn that granum is a stack of thylakoid. Yeah, uh, if you are listening to this, you will find it a bit funny lah. In pre you means STPM, A-Levels, Foundation, you will learn that all these are thylakoid. A stack of thylakoid, we call them granum. Okay, granum. A stack of thylakoid, we call them granum, but uh, you don't quite need to know thylakoid lah. You don't quite need to know thylakoid lah. So, one gran, one granum, two or more grana. Kalau dua atau lebih, kita sebut grana. Inside granum is where you can find chlorophyll molecules. Okay, katakan, uh, a lot of students, uh, they tend to mess up or mix up uh, or don't know how to differentiate between chloroplast, chlorophyll. Ini perbezaan dia. Chloroplast, organelle. Chloroplast, organelle, chlorophyll, pigment. Chlorophyll, pigment. Look, enlarge. Okay, see, chlorophylls, they are pigments in the granum. Chlorophyll, they are pigment in the granum. Uh, what is a granum? A structure that is found inside the chloroplast. Alright? Okay, dengan itu, kita sekarang boleh mula proses uh, pembelajaran proses photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, there are two processes involved. Light reaction dalam BM tindak balas cahaya. 
uh, dark reaction, tindak balas gelap. Okay? Light reaction occurs when there is sunlight. Dark reaction occur uh, without depending on light. Without depending on light. Bantul bergantung kepada tenaga cahaya. Maksudnya, waktu siang, waktu malam pun boleh berlaku. So, let us straight away look at light reaction. Huh? Okay, let's start. Huh? Okay, first point, light reaction occurs in the granum. Light reaction occurs in the granum. Second point, sunlight will be absorbed by chlorophyll. Electrons become excited. Electrons become excited. Eh, excited, not gembira. Eh? Excited, not happy. Eh? Ah, like go for holiday, happy. No. Eh? If electron excited means they have high vibrational energy. They have a lot of energy. So, because electrons become excited, they will escape. Because a lot of energy, ma, so they move out. How I teach my students to hafal this is 3E. Hafal 3E. Why 3E? Electron excited escape. Electron excited escape. Yeah, and energy absorbed will also be used to form ATP. Sekali lagi, eh? the whole thing one more time. Eh? Guys, light reaction occurs in the granum. Sunlight absorbed by chlorophyll. Berapa E? Tiga E. Electrons excited escape. Electrons become excited and escape from the chlorophyll molecule. Energy absorbed is used to form ATP. And the rest is used to carry out photolysis of water. Guys, in light reaction, photolysis of water is the main event. Dalam tindak balas cahaya, photolysis air merupakan proses utama. Proses utama. Okay? So, photolysis of water takes place. Lysis means breakdown. Photo means using light energy. Photolysis of water, breakdown of water using light energy. So, tenaga, tenaga cahaya akan digunakan untuk memecahkan molekul air ini. We will get hydrogen ion and also this is called hydroxyl ion guys i know you you are thinking about this now uh, whereby you are thinking also oh, isn't this hydroxide ion uh, they are actually the same uh. they are actually the same but in bio they prefer this uh, it's just like it's just like your your your, your dad call you a boy and your mom call you your actual name but you're the same person uh. just two different names uh. Huh? So, stick to this one. Stick to this one. Okay, so hydroxyl ion. Okay, this is, I would say, the tougher part. Hydroxyl ion will lose electron. And then, you see here, they are, they are ion, right? Ion is what? Something negatively charged. After losing two negative, they are now neutral. They are now neutral. So, hydroxyl ion lose electrons and they combine with each other. These are the words. Huh? They combine with each other to form water and oxygen. To form water and oxygen. Huh? So, uh, one more round. Try to follow. Hydroxyl ion lose electron. And then combine with each other to form water and oxygen. Finally, last point, hydrogen ion accepts. Hydrogen ions accept electrons that escape. Il accept electron that escape and now they are neutralized. They become neutral. Okay? 
Uh, so I will move on to dark reaction in the next video. Okay, uh, guys, in the next video, um, I will do a very quick recap about this. Then only I move on to dark reaction. Huh? So if you find you want to do a quick revision of this one, don't worry, just move on to the next video. Okay, yeah.